All right. How's everybody doing today? Good. All right. Woo! My name is Justin Sider. I uh, am the Chief Information Officer, Chief PowerShell Officer at Belay Technologies. Today I'm talking about Report Card PS. This is a PowerShell module that kind of incorporates PowerCLI and VMware Clarity. I'll get into what those things are in a couple seconds here. Uh, should be a pretty short presentation, so hold on to your pants. Here we go. All right, so what's inside? We're going to go over an overview. We have the components, how it works, how you can get started uh, creating your first report, some best practices, uh, advanced options, and how this expands to things other than just VMware. So here we go. Uh, this all started from a, a, a request from a, another vExpert in the community saying, man, it would be really cool if I could use PowerCLI to create the vCenter homepage. Uh, so I took that request and I actually did it. So this is actually generated from PowerShell using VMware Clarity, HTML, and uh, JavaScript libraries to create the uh, vCenter homepage. So you can see the headers are not like your normal VMware headers. Uh, those are my headers from the PowerShell module. So a card is one of those little blocks. So those little blocks, uh, as you move the uh, window smaller and larger, the, those little blocks, those cards, will actually reorganize themselves. Uh, the order is a little funky. It actually goes one, two, three going down instead of across. I don't know who wrote VMware Clarity, but apparently uh, the normal English doesn't really work with them. So I don't know if that's, is that, I don't know what language that is. But uh, just know that the card in, in this uh, module is all about creating cards. So the, the borders and stuff are all customizable, but I'm really focused on you're going to write a function, you're going to create a card, and we're going to plop the card onto the HTML report. All right, so the components, we have uh, Clarity PS. So as I started writing this guy, I, I found that I didn't want to write uh, Report Card PS to incorporate Clarity PS, because at some point you might want to uh, pull in Bootstrap instead of VMware Clarity. So I actually wrote two modules when I went through this. So I have Clarity PS, which just wraps the VMware Clarity UI components, and then Report Card PS, which is a wrapper for the uh, functions that you write and the organization of creating the cards. Um, included in Report Card PS, we have the example vCenter homepage and the local CPU report. I did that for a, a PowerShell book that's coming out. All right, so here's how it works. So uh, the big things to focus on are the loop in the middle, but as you create, or as you start the process, we're gonna create the basis for your HTML document. If you ever looked at an HTML document, there's a bunch of headers at the top. Uh, and then you, you, know, you get into uh, titles and, and then we'll get into creating the card. So all these things are con contained within a flex container and that's what allows the auto resizing of the boxes. Um, and I'll show a couple pictures of that in a, in a minute. So we create the HTML document, we add the header information, add a title as you need it, and then uh, we import the JSON from a manifest file. So all these, all these reports are gonna be based on a manifest file and we're gonna walk through those sequentially. Uh, we go through each function, we execute it, we take the output of that function and uh, put it into HTML, and then we add that HTML to that document in memory. Once the document's complete, we return that back to the pipeline. I'm not sending an email, I'm not writing it to file, or any of that, that's up to you guys. I don't care what you do with it. All right, so here's an example manifest file. It's pretty simple, JSON. You have a card title, you have a card function, so one thing that you're gonna to wanna to know is that that function needs to be present in that PowerShell uh, console or that, that session that you have. Um, so you are gonna to have to write functions. Functions are not that difficult. You can really just put a one-liner in a function and you call it a function and everybody's happy. Uh, the other things are arguments, so you can actually pass arguments in. Just know that these are going in as a string, so encapsulate them correctly. Uh, watch out for spaces, they're really not nice. Uh, and then you also have the option to do an order. So by default, if you don't provide an order, it's gonna go first in, first out. Otherwise, if you have a long list of cards that you wanna create, you can actually order them as, as you wish. All right, so getting started. Open up a PowerShell console, set your user, uh, install module, name, report card PS, import it, and then we can run this get report card template set. So these are the ones that I'm including for you. Uh, you can also pass in a path to get report card template set if you have a set of these templates for the report, if you have a set of these JSON files. Um, so here's you know, an example of, of what it looked like when I did it on, on my machine. All right, uh, oh, one thing I should mention, I haven't tested this on PowerShell Core, so Windows PowerShell 5.1, uh, 
uh, is, is what everything was tested with. Cool. All right, so uh, when I said I returned it to the pi pipeline, I, I truly meant that. So uh, for the vCenter one, if you connect to your uh, vCenter and you run new report card, give it a title, and then uh, the JSON file path that's included in the module, this is the uh, sweet output that you get. And uh, if you know HTML, this is, this is pretty much what it looks like. So uh, I would capture that and, and do something with that file. I'll put it to a, you know, you can email it, whatever you guys like. Uh, some quick best practices. Uh, a card is just a single custom function that's capturing specific information, right? So keep it simple, stupid. You don't need to pack a whole lot of information. Um, and then functions are also gonna return just HTML output. So it doesn't always have to be a table, but generally a table is pretty much what you're gonna be doing, right? You're gonna be querying vCenter, you're gonna be querying some machine. You wanna get that into some kind of format that you want. Uh, and then use convert to HTML and use this uh, dash fragment. Uh, and that removes all of the extra header and footer information uh, from that command. And then here's a quick example you can run. Here's the top CPU processes. Uh, and, and this is the card that you'll see when we get to a next slide. All right, so a sample function. Uh, I removed all the comment-based help, but what you see here is a pretty simple thing, right? We have a one-liner that's capturing CPU data from my machine, and then I'm converting it to HTML, right? So from my aspect, when you look to build cards, this is what you're responsible for. A one-liner and convert it to HTML. Building the HTML card below that is where I'm uh, using the Clarity PS module to create the card, give it in a title, you can add icons, uh, and then you're just closing the body and returning that back to the HTML document. So pretty simple, you can see that one line of code essentially creates this cool little card. All right, so the advanced options, if you wanna get into customizing the header and footer of your report, uh, you wanna take a look at Clarity PS to pull out all the elements from the uh, VMware Project Clarity HTML CSS pro, uh, project. Uh, here's an example of uh, all the components that they have available. If you go to their website, it'll be on, uh, I think, a further link I have or a further page I have down. You can get all the different elements and how to use them so that you can add little widgets or wingdings or whatever things you want to your web pages. All right, so not just VMware. Here's a uh, sample CPU report. Um, again, this is just using that, the one that's included, uh, and you can see how easy it creates, creates them. Anything... PowerShell related, uh, let's see, let me go back one. All right, so the other thing that's included with uh, Report Card PS is a built-in dark and light theme. So uh, I, I don't necessarily recommend the light theme, it's actually very bright and annoying. Um, so uh, by default, everything will come with dark theme. So I, I wouldn't be doing myself justice if I didn't talk about other reporting tools for VMware. So we have vCheck, uh, and, and please check these things out. Uh, and, and you're probably asking why I wrote this. And, you know, all of these, these three other reports are doing so much for you. Uh, Report Card PS is really just allowing you the control, right? I'm just a framework to deliver the content in HTML. I don't care what you write. I don't, I don't want to write those things for you. I mean, reach out to me if you want some help. But I don't want anything to do with your infrastructure or know how you want to get your information. I just want to present it to you using the VMware Clarity UI components. So, uh, so V documentation is a, is a tool by Arial and uh, As Built Report. You should know that for the last two, I'm actually working with them to get their output into a Clarity uh, format. So you might see something come along the line that V, v documentation now has an output of HTML and a Clarity UI. And same thing with As Built Report. I'm working with those guys to see if we can get their output using the Clarity UI versus generic HTML tags. All right, so here's the, so here's the uh, light theme. Um, like I say, I'm not a huge, huge fan of it. And then there's a theme switcher in the top right. Um, there's a cog out there. I don't know if you can, yeah, I'm gonna point to the screen here. Can you see that? Yeah. Uh, up in the top right, there's a cog. That'll actually take you out to report card PS. Um, and I think with that, that's it. Uh, so to the principal's office, I want to thank the V Brown bag guys. They're awesome to, to allow us the opportunity to come up here and speak. Can't thank them enough. 
Um, you can reach me as JP, I'm JP Sider, pretty much everywhere and anywhere. Uh, you can find me. My blog's up there. There's the links for Clarity PS and Report Card PS. Google Project Clarity, and you'll find all of the tags and information you need to build uh, or use all of the elements from the Clarity project. Um, so that's it. Uh, sweet. I think I'm just on time. <laughs>